What do you? What has changed recently? Like the, one of the things that a lot of people have been saying with. Uh, especially the Me Too movement, is that people are more cautious about saying controversial jokes now. Do you feel that? Do you feel like energy in the air being different? Do you if feel I like people you are more sensitive? I know, I know you won't get mad at me. I feel the energy is different, but guess what, G? What? It don't apply to me. It don't apply to me. doesn't apply to me, and it's never going to apply to me. Okay, I understand me shooting your special on your network. You don't want me to use certain words. There's parts, and I and I get that. This is a business. Right. This is a business, and I got mouths to feed. But when I'm at the comedy store, when I'm at the improv, when I'm at the Laugh Factory, when I'm at Flappers, when I'm at the Ha Ha, when I'm at the New York Gotham. You got to let it fly. I'm going to let it fly. You got to let it fly. Okay, and I'm sorry. No, no, this no. This is just so is, you know. No, you shouldn't be sorry. You're not. This is just to be so sorry. you know. You know what I put on yesterday? What'd you put on? Guess yesterday? what I put on the studio yesterday? What? And and this is it. This what? is it because it's time. What? We're not taking it no more. <laughs> I'm not taking it no more. I put on an album, and again, I'm very sorry if I offend somebody. I didn't name it this. He did. So take your fucking problem up with him. Name of the album is Bicentennial Nigga. By James uh, Richard, Richard Pryor. Pryor. I put it on. I listened to it twice, and I did an edible, and cried. I got oh. the fucking. I've got the the Periscope listening to Richard. Okay, yeah. I got it. Yeah. Okay, and I've listened to Lenny Bruce live from Carnegie Hall in the last couple weeks. I don't know when the last time you listened to that because we can't because of our. Uh, we guys like you and I can't definitely not Jamie and definitely if you're under thirty you can't because of the um, cultural how slow references, it is how slow cultural it is. references and how slow it is yeah but it's a lesson I listen to that and I'm going home guess what I'm listening to tonight what I'm staying in tonight to listen to the one when he meets the wine on meets Dracula oh I think yeah. it's either is it something I said or the niggas crazy both of those albums are masterpieces. And that's how he wanted us to do it. Yeah. That was how we have to do it. Yeah. He didn't give yeah. a fuck what the fuck was said. No. If a company wants to pay you, HBO or CBS, and I, Joey, can we talk to you in the corner? We can't have that joke because we got a complaint about that. I'm an adult. I can't sell. You know, listen, uh, Bill Hicks is dead and I don't feel too good myself. Okay? <laughs> All right, let's cut the fucking shit. Okay? We do this for profit at the end of the fucking day. We're feeding our families. All right? So. But there's also a way you do it. And there's well, also a way I do it. You're compromise the way you do it for more right. profit. You know, when I watched the Richard Pryor thing, and I know he went into a Hollywood Bowl, and they were doing the thing for gays, and he went up there and went against the gays. I got it. Is it something I would do? I don't know. I don't know. But it's who we're supposed to be, in a way, as a comedian. We're supposed to be the social column of society in a way in some way so now you want to take that away from me you want to take the way i can't say i grew up on the word retarded <laughs> i grew up on the word faggot i grew up on the word i grew up on a lot of words that people don't accept today and i'm very sorry that you don't accept them but it's too late for me to change my game right now yeah, I'll try my hardest. I try my hardest. I'm still going to say tranny from time to time. I know it offends. But when you're a comic, listen, man, the first seven minutes of any news is about what's going on in the world. And the next ten minutes is bad. I never talk about politics. Well, to top it off, I'm a felon. So I need to talk about politics. You know what I'm saying? You don't like, vote. There's right. just things. I'm not going to talk about kicking an abortion child. Remember for a long time, every comic was, you know, I'll kick an aborted fetus. You know, that's not my style. I'm up there to talk. <laughs> what how are the you talking about? You know, kicking an aborted fetus. Yeah, yeah. You, you go to comedy shows and there's always oh, that one comic be that wants to be shocking. No, I'm not here yeah. to be shocking. I'm, I'm, not, I'm here to tell you how I see it. You want right. to hear how I see it? This is how I see it. If I offend you... I offend you. To before, in the beginning of the show, I said something very offensive in today's terms. But in my reality, it was real. You want firecrackers? You buy them from a Chinese dude down in China. Why is that racist? Because that's racist. In but today's isn't it factual? society. How's it racist not today. if it's factual? Chinese people out of fireworks. Right. They moved but on there's to other weird, things. There's weird ones that we all let fly, like black dudes with big dicks. No one's complaining about that, right? 
you ever hear that? You assume black dude has a big dick. Does anybody complain? Probably they're looking to now. That might be like, maybe I'm the first one to get called out on it. That's racist to think that black dudes have big dicks. Is it? Is it, If it's positive, is it po- is like a positive attribute racist? Like if you said Asian people are better at math, people would say that's racist. How is it racist if they're really good at something? Like if they have more talent or skill or more accomplishments. How's that racist? Like that's, isn't that racial if it's good? Right? Like Jews accept it. If you t- tell Ari that more European Jews won Nobel Science Prizes. He's like, of course, we're smarter. Of course, is it is it racist to talk about how many Jews are so fucking smart? Like, why is that? Why are they so goddamn smart? You ever think about how many German and and European Jews were like fucking serious geniuses? It's a, it's a crazy trend. Like, what happened over there? Callan was trying to explain it to me once about their values and their education and the experiences and what led to just Google the numbers of European Jews that have won Nobel Science Prizes. It's kind of like, it's eye-opening. You know how many guineas from New Jersey? Zero. <laughs> Zero guineas from New Jersey win in science projects. None of my relatives win in science projects. I tried looking this up a couple weeks ago. It was hard to look it up. <coughs> oh, is it? Oh, yeah. What did, what's, what's European was, Jews that have won the Nobel Science Prize. Try that. I don't know. I don't even know what these numbers are. I'm talking out of my ass. I know that it's, I've definitely heard it ta- discussed that there was a, a giant number. What are you doing over there, Joey Diaz? Just want to make sure my wife doesn't text me and let me know what party I need to be at. Oh, 4th of July, baby. This is our, our country's birthday. It's a time that we should cherish. I think uh, we should play the national anthem. Maybe later. We got time. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to play the national anthem real quick. They had it on this morning by my house. I loved it. I fucking love it. So how was your experience doing your Netflix special? Everything was great. Netflix, I take my hats off to them. Everything was great. It was my fuck up. It was my fuck up. I let it uh, get into my head too much. I listened to too many people, and I forgot the number one thing. Just be funny. That's it. Be yourself. Doesn't matter what any people How many you. shows did you film? Two. First one, I think, was a disaster. The second one, I redeem myself a little bit. We'll put something together and we'll save something. So now I'm working really hard. Like now, now I'm going back to my old roots, how I want to do my stand up again. It's hard.